for today. Um, I'm going to show a very interesting move, and I call it the salsa move. And the basic, so that's why whenever you are moving, you want to visualize as if something kind of fall, just like tango, for example. On the top of you, stretch out, and you are really just moving this way. So you see my upper body, never go sagging, anything like that, because the posture is really important, especially for the girls. You don't want to stick your butt out. Sometimes you do, because it's the same movement. We're gonna go one step front. At this point, your weight is supposed to be in the back plate, yeah? So think like a horse hand. How are you gonna do a horse hand? It's actually the weight is on the back. And when you're transitioning your weight to the front end, then you wanna push this hip out. And can we all do that together? Step back, go out, in. Pay attention to what happens to my hip. Go. Out, in, out, in, out, out, step, center, back, step, center. Especially for the girls. Because the guys, they can eliminate the hip movement. But for the girls, this is really where the style comes in. Up, up. So, that will move one, two. One, two, same thing. And the count is three counts, right? So you can rotate, change the pattern, but one time you go front, one time you go back, but you feel like, I want to go more, I want to rock. And you keep on doing that a couple of times, and you stop, you go to your side, to your side, or you go to your row. What happens if the guy sit lower? It's okay for selling, but utilize this to give yourself that look of Pizomba hip. We call that the Pizomba hip is all about Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, 